Recently, James had spare brakes made out of wood, and so he complained about having them instead of the normal ones. However, as time went on, he shifted to something else for complaining. The other engines found him unbearable to be around with. Even Bill and Ben found his complaints unbearable. And because Trevor had barely enough work recently, they thought maybe he could do James's work on Edward's branch line, of course. So Trevor and Edward did the work together. Trevor loved all the extra work and felt positive about it. But James, on the other hand, did not like it. One day, Harold and Trevor were talking about the day's work. It's busy for sure, but uh, I love doing my work. Harold used to have a thing with old things. He still has it. But Trevor spoke to him. And Trevor made Harold think that he was one of the good ones. I am very glad you have your happy, Trevor. However, I don't think you would like my work. It is so busy and so dangerous for you. Last day, I think I saved people from a car on a cliff. Trevor was amazed. My goodness, I wouldn't like that kind of work. Then James came. Are you happy to be doing my work, Trevor? Oh, I am delighted to do it. Aren't you? I don't like people replacing my work. You hear? Buzz off, James. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, James. Why don't you buzz off? You need to collect the bees for us. They need to go in their hives. James roared with anger and fumed off. Buzz off, asked Harold. Beehive. And Trevor told Harold the story of James and his bees. Later that day, James had to pull a goose train. And as he coupled up, he was already ready to go. At some point, James had to stop at a station, and the one he had to stop at was the airfield. Oh, it's you. Listen, buddy, I know you might want to protect Trevor, but I don't like someone taking my jobs, even if I don't like them. But they're helping. You can't deny someone helping. Yeah, but I don't want someone to do my jobs. Now shut up and go to your helicopter business. Oh, I will go to my business, all right. Harold murmured. James thought he would be done with Harold. But... That would soon change. As James was going along, Harold the helicopter was going along with him. But as Harold looked down, he saw something rather interesting. He saw something coming from his wheels. It was sparks as he tried to use his brakes. Harold knew what would happen and went into action. As James looked on the tracks, he saw Harold. Sitting there, James saw Harold and slowed down. However, James used his brakes to do so, while Harold didn't move an inch. Watch what you're doing, you crazy copter! But before Harold could respond, James's spark started to get bigger and bigger, and it soon started to be something else. A fire then started. James panicked as Harold's crew took the fire extinguisher. 
They rushed to the fire and extinguished it. The next day, Trevor came to see Harold, and he had already heard the news. Great job, Harold. You could see very well. Well, you know, us helicopters are used to looking far away. We need to see what we're doing to go far. And what I saw was James being so angry he catched fire. Now, isn't that amazing? It sure is, brother. It sure is.